The movie begins with a brief sight of the streets of Catalonia, quickly changing to a garage where a young boy is working on a truck while listening to the radio. Walking into the room, the young man's boss tells him to avoid listening to all the disaster talk on the radio, as they're probably trying to hide the truth about aliens. Out in the open roads, a beautiful young girl named Alba travels on her motorbike and takes a quick break to make her video diary. Pointing at the cave behind her, she announces that it was where her father made his studies about climate change. Walking inside, she sees her father hard at work and begins to tape him, asking him to shed some light on his work. After a brief light-hearted chat, Alba returns to town where she meets the shopkeeper Trini and her son Didac. After witnessing some older boys bully the young black boy Didic, and seeing his mother chase them away, Alba goes home in time to catch her father heading out. Treating him rudely, Alba watches her father Dara shake his head in disappointment and drive off. After deciding to go for a drive, Alba runs into Diedrich and his bullies and then watches as they forcefully throw the young boy into the water. As soon as she jumps into the water to save him, a suddenly bright light engulfs the sky, red flashes of lightning burning up the place and everyone around. Dragging him out of the water, Alba revives the boy by pushing the water out of his lungs, and the two walk around trying to see what had happened. Shocked by the sight of burned buildings and people, Didac hurries to his mother's shop and sees her hand buried under the store's rubble. Having nowhere else to go, Alba takes the young boy to the cave her father works in and finds it empty. Making a small fire, the two cuddle up around it and try to get through the frightening night. The following morning, Alba and Didac go to Alba's house and are shocked to see her house destroyed. Hoping to reach out to someone, Alba begins to check all the communication devices, including the radios, but nothing seems to be functional. Hoping to find someone alive, the duo head back out into town, where they continue to see the horrific sight of dead bodies all over the place. Realizing that there is no one to help them, Alba tells the boy that they need to go to Barcelona to acquire some help. Picking up a stray bike, Alba tries to start it, but the vehicle seems to be too damaged. Hoping to forcefully start it, Didac tries to give the bike a push, but the act causes Alba to fall and slightly impale herself on a sharp object. Seeing that she was hurt, Alba decided to return to her house until she felt better to travel. Apologetic about what he had done, Didac does his best to keep Alba comfortable as she heals from her wound. As her fever increases, Alba tells Didac that she needs antibiotics, but refuses to let him go in the dead of night. Overwhelmed by the pain and fever, Alba passes out, making Didac determined to find her the medication she needs. Grabbing the bike outside, Didac paddles his way back into town and fetches the antibiotics from the closest undamaged pharmacy. Returning quickly, he administers the medication, which would allow the infection to subside. A few days later, Alba woke up feeling a lot better. The infection healed due to the antibiotic. Once she wakes up, Alba receives an excited hug from Didac, who is happy she is alive. Taking a look at her wound, he tells her that it closed up and become one large scar, which she explains she doesn't mind. As the days pass, Alba contemplates how long they can stay there all alone and with no answers about what happened. One night, while heavy rain falls outside, Alba takes a video recording of herself stating that they must go to Barcelona as soon as possible. She admits to herself that they had stayed there this long because she was afraid of what awaited them out in the world and whether her father would be able to find her if they left. The following morning, Didac wakes up with a gasp after having a nightmare about the horrible night. Seeing blood on the sheets, Didac assumes that Alba was attacked and goes out searching for her only to find her by the lake fetching some water. After she awkwardly explains that it was just her monthly cycle, the two head back to the house. Three months have passed since the unexplainable incident and Alba had begun to lose faith that someone would come for them. Despite their uncertain future, Alba and Didac have begun to adapt to their new lives, using Dara's journal as a guide for their survival. Although they had not seen a single person in, Alba is hopeful that there are other survivors after seeing the fish alive in the lake. A few years pass and the two survivors have now grown accustomed to their daily lives. 
Didac seems to have grown into a handsome young man, and Alba has started to feel a bit embarrassed of the feelings that have grown inside her. Struggling with the feeling of being a man, Didac is unable to control himself anymore and kisses Alba on the lips one morning, rushing away embarrassed by what he has done. That night, a horrible storm hits the area, causing all of the vegetables Alba had planted to be destroyed. Although she tries desperately to save her handiwork, she is eventually forced to stop when Didac calms her down and takes her back inside. The next morning, Alba is taking a video of the mess the storm had caused when she hears the loud honking of a tractor heading their way. Alba is shocked that Didac was able to fix the car on his own, and the two decide to start their journey in search of other survivors. After driving for several hours, the two camp out for the night, talking about what they might find in the other cities. In a moment of honesty, Didac confesses that he wouldn't mind if they were the only people left in the world. The following day, Alba and Didac arrive in Barcelona and are shocked at the destruction in the city. While they are searching for any survivors, Alba confesses that she felt horrible about the way she had ended things with her father. After driving around for several hours, the duo finally sees some signs of life when they run into a small campsite. After taking a look inside and finding the already rotten flesh of a woman hanging outside, Alba voices her belief that there must be no one left alive. Resigned about that somber fact, the two head to the large stadium in ruins to make Dodic's wish of seeing the place come true. While taking a video of Dodic playing around in the stadium, Alba suddenly notices how attractive the young man has become and drops her phone. Later that night, the two take shelter from the rain and cuddle up next to each other. Unable to resist what they are feeling for each other, the two begin to kiss passionately and eventually sleep together. As they lay next to each other naked, Alba brings up the idea that they might be the only humans left alive, and Didic voices his desire to have many children as they would need to repopulate the earth. The day goes by and the new couple decides to live by the sea to ensure their safety and constant food source. A few weeks later, Alba announced that she was pregnant, making Dodic lift her with excitement. In preparation for their first-born child, the couple begins to gather up items they would need to take care of a newborn while Alba finds educational books. After months of apprehensive waiting, the fateful day arrives as Alba enters labor during one of her late-night reads. Yelling out for Dedic, she announces what is happening and allows him to help her through the process. After several hours of screaming and excruciating pain, Alba gives birth to their son. A few weeks after their son Kai is born, Alba has regained her strength and has taken their child out to the beach to look at the ocean. While enjoying the view, Alba is shocked when she sees a boat floating nearby and informs Dedic. Seeming unhappy about seeing the boat, Dedic tells Alba that they didn't need anyone else, but she refuses to listen and gets closer to the beach, surprised to see a passed out man had floated to shore. Rescuing the stranger, Alba and Dedic nurse him back to health. Once he comes, the stranger introduces himself and tells them how he had the accident that caused him to end up at shore. As the days pass, the man settles in with the couple, bonding with them as a fatherly figure. One morning, the man notices that Alba is suffering while feeding her newborn child and brings her some honey to rub on her wounds. Dodic remains suspicious about the man's intentions and suggests that it is time for him to leave as his boat is fixed. Agreeing with Dodic, the man expresses his intention to depart the following day and invites the couple to a farewell party on his boat. Accepting the gesture, the couple takes their son Kai and joins the man on his boat. After a night of fun and drinking, Dodic wakes up and realizes the boat is sailing out into the sea instead of near their campsite. Shocked by the sight, Dedic tries to inform Alba about what is happening, but he is unexpectedly attacked by the stranger, who causes him to fall into the water. Knowing that her boyfriend cannot swim, Alba jumps into the water, despite the stranger's attempt to stop her. As the two lean on the floaty, they witness the man escaping with their newborn child. Devastated by the unexpected betrayal, the couple swims back to their campsite and tries to wrap their head around what had happened. And after the initial shock has passed, Alba tells Dedic that they must do whatever it takes to find their son. After doing research, Alba remembered the story the man had told them about the honey he had given her and began researching the bees that produced the honey. Figuring out the location of the special bees, Alba and Dedic commandeer a boat and set sail to the location. 
After several hours, the two finally arrive at the rocky shores where the stranger's boat was floating nearby. Realizing they had found the thief, the two slowly make their way to the campsite, allowing Alba to search for their son, while Didi keeps an eye on the stranger tending to his bees. Looking around at the campsite, Alba finds their son inside a cage, but is unable to find the keys or breakthrough. Rushing back outside, she informs Didik of their son's condition and exchanges positions to see if he would be able to get the cage open. Destructed by her child's crying, Alba looks away from the stranger, giving the man the chance to surprise her. Taking the gun away from her and pointing it at Didik, who would run back out, the stranger ties them up as hostages, unwilling to give back their child. Hoping to save her child, Alba agrees to live with the stranger if he agrees to give her back her son. Agreeing to her terms, the stranger unties her and takes her into his small makeshift home. Allowing her to take the keys, he lets her hold her son once more and relish the sight of a family he could have. Leaving the mother and son alone, the stranger goes to check on Dedik, who angrily tells him that Alba would never accept him. Seeming unconcerned about Dedik's threats, the stranger stood idly by with a gun in hand when he suddenly noticed Alba run out of the camp. Angry at being tricked, the stranger begins to torture Dedek in hopes of making Alba return. Although she has made her escape, Alba is unable to leave Dedek behind and returns to the campsite. Realizing that she only had a few minutes before the stranger returned, she handed Dedek a small knife and stood in shock as the stranger barged into the small compound. Threatening her with the gun, he forces her to put Kai back into his crypt and shoots her in the leg to keep her from escaping. Managing to cut the ropes holding him, Didik jumps up and begins frightening with their kidnapper. After a severe struggle, Didik manages to kill the man by stabbing the stranger in the neck, but cannot escape the gunshot aimed at him. Although he makes sure his family is safe, Didik passes away in Alba's arms. Devastated by grief, Alba takes care of Didik's body and sends it out into the sea as a farewell. Standing by the shore, Alba watches mournfully as the current takes his body away. Several years later, Alba and her son Kai have returned to their original home. As the child grows up, Alba shows him videos she has taken of his father over the years. Although Alba misses Dedek, she takes comfort in their son, whom they had fought desperately to save. And with that, the movie ends. We hope you enjoyed our recap. Like the video and subscribe to our channel for more amazing recaps. See you in the next one.